So I've been thinking about something Lately I've been lying Cause I found my reason in nothing So I won't close my eyes What's up guys? Thank you for tuning into today's video <clears throat> I got another story time for you guys So uh, listen up peeps Alright before I get into this story, I need you guys to do me a favor. You see that subscribe button down there? I need you to click it. And I need you to stay tuned because this story is going to be a little bit weird. As like every other one of my stories on this channel. <clears throat> Without further ado, I'm going to let you guys know a funny story time of something that happened when I was... How old was I? I don't know how old I was, but I was, I wasn't a teenager yet, so I was about like 10, 11, maybe 12. My mom was gone, my dad was gone, they were, I think they were at work or something like that. And we were all upstairs, me and my siblings, you know, we're goofing around, we having a good time, you know. Don't drop that da, da, da. Hey, don't drop we just doing a bunch of stuff, you know, we having a good time. And my mom and my dad show up, the car, pulls up one of my sisters i'm not gonna say her name because i don't want it well yeah. actually i'm gonna say her name elisha it was you you jerk my sister who was born after me the fourth born was looking out the window my mom saw someone peeking through the window upstairs when she got out the car my mom hated when we looked like we were spying so if like she called us i mean she came home from work and then she looked up and someone's peeking out the window that means she knows that somebody's warning the rest of the group to behave and make sure everything is all right my mom she's a little sneaky she like to sneak up on you sometimes she like to what you doing she like to catch up she like to catch you with some stuff my mom pulled up they get out the car my sister's peeking through the window and then she clicks it closed and then runs away so my mom sees a big shadow so she knows it's a big kid she know it wasn't a little kid so she know exactly what group of kids to go after my dad and my mom they come through the front door and then you know we do all what we do all the time we got my mom says we have to like say hi to her when she come in so we all go downstairs you know we're happy we go downstairs we're like hi mom hi mom she's like hey which one of y'all was looking through that window come again we nope none a lot of us didn't even know who the heck it was we didn't know that no one's looking out the window for all we know we were all in our rooms or in the living room we didn't see anybody come or go we literally were dumbfounded we were like who the heck was looking out the window so we're looking around like yeah who was looking out the window nobody said nothing we could have avoided this entire situation if somebody would just came clean but no i got hard-headed siblings including me my mom was just like asking who, who was looking out the window and everybody's looking like I don't know. Was it you? Things escalated just a little bit. Okay, a lot more than a little bit. So my mom was like, y'all don't want to tell the truth? Okay, line up. And my dad was like, <laughs> you got the belt, you know, the belt thing, you know, you pop the belt and line up. And I'm just like, oh no, oh Lord. We all go in the living room. We lined up in this long line, getting ready to get in trouble. We getting we about to get a, we about to get ready to get a whooping. Everybody's about to get their butt beat. So, my first one of my uh, siblings went up. You know they got beat, whack. You know whack. You know they get the head get the head on their hands or whatever. So they, we all getting a whooping. She wanna I'm, at this point. It's not even that the fact that you guys looked out the window is that y'all not telling the truth. Y'all stay inside and y'all cutting for each other. So. We all got beat. We all get a woman. <sighs> then one of my sisters went up to get her woman. And I'm not going to tell you which one of these sisters is because it's a little embarrassing. But I don't want her to be like, why you tell that? Why you tell everybody that happened? Ugh. So to avoid all that, I'm just not going to say her name. But one of my sisters, I'm going to let you know it's a girl though. Because I don't want you blaming none of the guys. Because you know, it's guys versus girls in this family. You know what I'm saying? You know, boys rule. One of the girls went up to get her woman. So she lays on the bed. She about to get, you know, a couple taps on the booty. You know, we're all in line. We're all like, <laughs> did you, did you look out the window? Did you look out the window? But nobody, nobody wanted to tell the truth. So we just didn't find out until later on. I'll get to that in a minute. But before that happened, my little sister laid on the bed. You know, she gets whacked on the booty. My dad was like, 
<laughs> so yeah, she getting she getting her butt whooped. She got hit once, twice, but then the third time she got whooped on the booty. Something extraordinary happened. Yes, I said extraordinary. So my dad goes up. He's like, whack. The next thing you know, my sister is like, ah. Then the loudest, the most powerful, the most earth wrenching fart comes out. It sounded like a freaking atomic bomb. So my dad was like, bam, she goes, ah. bro. She farted, bro. <laughs> Just let out the most disgusting fart I've ever heard in my life. And then for like a whole three seconds, everything paused. Everything stopped for a second. Like everything got quiet. My mom was eating ice cream. And then she just like stopped and turns around and look at my sister. My little sister just stood down there on the bed like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Then my dad just like, then we all in line. We was crying at first. Next thing you know, like one of us just go. <laughs> we crying and laughing at the same time. Then my little sister's like, ah. Then my mom was like. Get off my bed. <laughs> so my little sister get off the bed. And then she get, continues to get a rest of her whooping while on the floor. The sister that looked out the window, it was her turn next. Well, it wasn't her turn next. Actually, we all got beat. Everybody got beat. She was the one. She was last in line. She made sure she was at the very last of the line so she didn't have to, you know, get beat just yet. She's at the very end of the line. And then it's her turn to get beat. So she's getting a whooping. My mom was asking, did you look out the window? Who looked out that window? She's like, I, I don't know. And she started accusing some of us of looking out the window. Really, bro? She started accusing some of us of looking out the window. And we was like, nah, we weren't looking out that window. Nope, was you looking out that window? I wasn't looking out that window. You looking out that window? I wasn't looking out that window. She was looking out that window. She kept looking out the window. I wasn't looking out that window. She started accusing people. And then my mom was just like, she kept whooping her. And then my mom was looking at her and she was like, you lying, I can tell. So my mom got this discernment thing going on, but she can just like tell if you're lying. I don't know where she gets it, but it's strong. The, her game is strong when it comes down to like discerning if you're lying or telling the truth. So she's like, you lying. And my sister's like, no, I didn't look out the window. She kept lying. And eventually she told the truth. She got, well, I guess that one hit must have burned more than the rest. And she's like, yes, okay. I look, it was me. I looked out the window. <clears throat> we was so heated, bro. We all got a whooping because she didn't want to tell the truth. And she didn't want to tell anybody that she looked out the window. She could have got beat by herself, but she didn't want to get beat by herself. Sure, man. More of the story is, don't lie. If your parents ask you a question, just tell the truth. The, I can't say that you won't get in trouble and I can't say that the repercussions won't be as serious or whatever the reason may be. But you know, it, it'll be less severe as I mean, then for you to just keep lying and ruin, not only ruin your reputation, but it's just making matters worse on you. So just tell the truth. So if you stole that cookie, tell your mama you stole that cookie. If you, you farted, admit to you farting. It, it, it could be a lot worse, man. It could be a lot worse. But I am reaching almost 11 minutes on this video. And I feel like I kind of ruined the story during the middle of it. But man, the story just needs to be told. And the sister that lied to us and she's watching this video and she's angry. I'm sorry, but I don't care. Fight me. But until next time, guys, thank you for tuning in to the... Okay, speak. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the flip side all right peace so i won't sleep